What's going on everyone going ticket to history coming to you here from my car as you can see but I am here in a parking lot a Circle K parking lot to be exact and I'm here because this isn't just any ordinary Circle K as you know because you wouldn't have clicked on this video if you thought I was just taking you to a Circle K you'd be like come on golden ticket like why would you do that why would you just take me to a Circle K I could go to a Circle K down the street why would you even do that so since you clicked on this video, you know exactly why we are here. Right behind me, that filling station component of the Circle K is a iconic music video filming location back in 2008 from the famous Jacksonville bass band Shine Down. Yeah, you know, you know Shine Down. I know Shine Down. You love Shine Down. I love Shine Down. Sound of Madness, 45. Call me. They're cover of Simple Man and the reason why we were here is 2008 they came out with a song called Second Chance and it was filmed right here on Anna Maria Island Florida which is about 45 minutes from downtown Tampa about two and a half hours from downtown Orlando most of the iconic scenes from the filming location took place right in front of us so right in front of this filling station, I'm trying to get some videos of, you know, this is a operating filling station to be nice if it was closed down, then I could take and really show you guys all different components of it. I'm going to see as much as I can possibly show you guys without getting yelled at, I guess. But anyhow, so yeah, right in front of us is where the iconic bus stop was at, where the girl who's going to be, you know, one dreams of becoming, a, has the aspirations of becoming a, a ballet dancer, where she comes and waits to catch the bus to leave to go to this ballet audition. And most of the scenes take place right here at this filling station early on in the morning. Right across the street, probably about a quarter of a mile away, is a one of the all-inclusive type hotels. Right across the street from that was where lead singer stood and did most of his beat scenes from. And there's also a street not far from here in a neighborhood. Sorry about that. In a neighborhood where the dancing scenes happened. And I'm not sure if the... I'm pretty sure the fighting scenes happened between his parents. Between her parents happened inside the house on one of these streets. Which I'm going to try to make it down to. I'm going to try to figure out which house it is. I can kind of see based off the garage. Not all the houses have garages. And it's just kind of a smaller single car garage. So maybe we can map it out. We're going to try. So it's either there or they use the resort to film the kitchen scenes, the fighting scenes, but I'm pretty sure it's this house. But we're gonna see if we can find it. If not, we're at least gonna check out this location as best we possibly can. I'm probably gonna do most of the videoing from the car just to try to stay as inconspicuous as possible and to reduce, you know, the chances of someone coming out yelling at us, things like that. You know, there's a sign right in front of me. I'll show it to you. Just look at it right there. It says, no loitering. We're not really loitering. We're seeking out the golden ticket to history. We're finding filming locations. And you guys are coming along with me. It's kind of like doing uh, mission work, I guess you could say. It's charity. Let's check it out. It's right there where those valley guys are standing and causing a total disruption to my shot. And that truck's now blocking. Hey, you can see all this building here behind the scene. This is Holmes Beach. It's like a mechanic shop. Let's see what else I can show you. There we go. That way I can kind of block those guys from being in my shot. These valet guys are trying to have the smoke break. Right dead center, right behind that filling station post is where the bus stop seat was at, I believe. He's kind of stood off to the side. And most of the shots happen from right in front. At the very end, the bus comes in from this way, parks right in front of there. They go off that way, and all the band members are there. She finally leaves and seeks her dreams of becoming a ballet dancer. Happened right here. We're going to see what else we can catch here in Animer Island. But if I don't get a chance of covering it all in this video, and this video has to end, then all good things must come to an end sometimes. So... If this is the end of the video, then as always, continue to look for the history and film. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And continue to search out more. We have filming locations, true crime, historical locations, haunted locations, famous graves, theme parks, and so much more. Catch you guys in the next video. Maybe. Maybe not. This could be a multi-part video, maybe. I haven't decided yet.
Let's go see what else we can find. Come along with me. Let's go. Another scene right here. What's going on everyone, Gold Duke History here on a different day. And we are here on a streetcar Periwinkle Plaza here on Anna Maria Island. And we're here because one of these houses on this street was used in the 2008 Second Chance Shinedown music video. Where Brent Smith and all of them, you know, they were performing all around the, the island. Well, there's a house used for the fighting scene between the parents, the bedroom scenes, as well as the dancing ballerina scenes. And it's right here on the street. So, you know, I'm trying to be as protective of people's privacy as possible. You know, this house took a lot of look, looking up to find the exact address. Uh, if you try to go on Zillow, it's blurred out. If you try to go on Google Maps, it's, bl uh, it's blurred out. I actually found the address because I took and I found the individual's names who owned the house. And what I did was I was able to find the exact housing address by doing so. Um, but then again, it's in, in the name of their privacy. I'm not going to point out exactly which house it is, but it's definitely one of the houses on this street. I'll kind of show some different houses and uh, let you decide which one you believe is the correct house. Which one you believe is the one that was used in the filming and uh yeah maybe if you do your search you could probably figure it out just as quickly as i did but i have respect for their privacy i'm not gonna let you know exactly which house it is but i will show you the houses so let's check it out definitely one of those houses i'll let you be the one to judge whether or not uh you can figure out which house it is it's definitely one of them maybe you can tell by the garages maybe maybe not there's a couple more locations we're trying to see the one the fishing market on cortez is really hard to find i'm not even sure if it's even still there so i may not be able to cover that one but i will try to cover the beach scene with the tall grass where Brent Smith stood and did a lot of his vocals. So let's see if we can find it. Come on, come along with me. Let's go. It's about a mile away from where I'm at now. Let's go check it out. So yeah, so we're not exactly in the exact spot where the lead singer of Shinedown stood, but we're pretty close to it. Same kind of uh, vegetation, same type of grass right here behind me. Stood up on top of one of these dunes and he filmed good portions of the music video Second Chance. So I'm gonna see if I can try to get to the exact location. It's really hard to get to. Um, you know, when you try to look it up online, it says one of the resorts. And I could just be geographically the closest place to it. They could view some of the interiors of the resort. I'm pretty sure it's just the location of where the beach part was. I'm gonna see if I can try to show it. If not, it literally looks just like this. It's literally not that far, much further down there. This is just on the other side of the island. A little bit easier, accessible place to look at. But we're gonna see if we can try to get to it, show you, but pretty much it looks exactly like this. A little dune with uh, some vegetation on it, and that's where the scene was shot. If we can't get a chance to show you guys that location, then hopefully this one will be sufficient. It's still the same beach, it's still the same island. It's pretty much the same look, just slightly off. I don't know.